Hey guys, welcome back to the penetration testing bootcamp. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own virtual pen testing lab, or at the very least, the tools that we're going to be using and uh, the various frameworks that you can use based on the operating system you actually choose to use. Um, so let's take a look at the requirements. Uh, so first of all, we're going to be using VirtualBox. Now you have you you can use any hypervisor of your choice. Uh, so you can use VMware or whatever you're, you're actually comfortable with. Secondly, we're going to be using Kali Linux uh, as our main penetration testing distribution. You can use any other uh, penetration testing distribution of choice. Um, so if we take a look at some quick examples of some of these pen testing distributions, most of which I've actually covered. So we have Kali Linux, Parrot OS, Black Arch and Backbox. And now these, these are, this is not really an extensive list of all of the distributions available to you, uh, but you know, you can actually go through all of them and find out what you're comfortable with. I have various videos where I cover the installation of all of these distributions. So they'll be linked in the, in the description section if you're interested in checking them out. I've also created a playlist that you can use. Now, when talking about pen testing frameworks, uh, let's start off with Linux, right? So if you want to install a particular tool or you want to install a complete, uh, a, a specific set of tools, rather than using a, an entire pen testing distribution, you can utilize uh, you know, a framework like Catulin or the pen testers framework, more of which I'll actually touch upon in a second. Uh, and then the various Windows tools and frameworks that you can actually use to, to actually uh, utilize various pen testing tools. Uh, one example of this is with the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now I know that's not an exclusive Windows tool, but it essentially allows you or gives you access to, to distributions like Kali Linux in a in the form of a subsystem where you can use the Kali Linux uh, repositories to install the tools that you need. And then we have Pentestbox, which is a great um, sandbox environment or a framework that allows you to run various pen testing tools within Windows. Uh, and you, I'll, I'll actually show that to you right now. So uh, let me just open up my browser here and we can get started. So uh, if you are interested in uh, in any Linux distributions or in any pen testing distributions, make sure to check them out. Uh, you know, on DistroWatch, that's a great starting point. Uh, as for Kali Linux, we're going to be using the VM images here. So if I, you can actually just go to offensivesecurity.com, and uh, you're looking for the downloads page, and we are going to get the the VM images. Now, many people ask me why would I recommend the VM image, and of course. The, it's, it's quite self-explanatory. These are already pre-packaged environments that have, you know, already have Kali installed, and you don't need to perform any manual install. Everything is standardized, and uh, you can easily set them up, take snapshots, etc. Uh, and it it's really better than installing Kali manually, especially in a virtualized environment. So you can go into the Offensive Security VM page and download the, uh, the specific version for the type of hypervisor that you're using. They currently only support VirtualBox. Uh, Hyper-V and of course VMware, so you can you can actually use that if you want. I highly recommend that. You also have Parrot OS, which many of you are actually fond of. In my case, I'm not going to be, going to be using Parrot OS because I've been having a lot of issues with it. I don't want to have students running into other issues that I cannot actually fix or uh, remediate because of various uh, driver issues. All right. As for Black Arch Linux, I've made tons of videos covering how to install Arch Linux, how to use the uh, the Black Arch repository to install the specific tools you want. However, if you want to run Black Arch Linux, I have those videos uh, already on the channel, so you can actually check it out, how to install it, how to install a uh, desktop environment of choice, how to install XFCE, and then, of course, how to set it up uh, with VirtualBox so that you don't run into any issues. So I've already explained that our hypervisor of choice is going to be VirtualBox as uh, the motif of this course is, uh, is, is of course structured towards an open source uh, approach. Um, this is Catulin. Uh, all of these links will be in the description section. So Catulin essentially allows you to install or to use the Kali repositories to install pen testing tools from the Kali repositories on any Debian or Ubuntu based distribution. So again, I have a video covering how to use it. And uh, I would recommend if you're looking for a framework to install tools that you actually use uh, the pen tester, uh, the pen testers framework, which I've also added, and I'll, and I'll actually show you the playlist right now. So this allows you to install, manage, update various pen testing tools, and again, you can run it on any distribution you want. So that's the great thing. Now for Windows, we have pen test box, and I've already covered the Windows subsystem for Linux, which I've added to the playlist. And I'll show you that right now. So the great thing about pen test box is that it's an open source pre-configured portable penetration testing environment for the Windows system. So you can take a look at the features here. 
It's uh, very simple to use. It also has Java installed, which means tools like Darebuster and Burp Suite work perfectly fine. And you don't need any dependencies, no Linux utilities, and it's uh, extremely uh, it's it's extremely uh, performance based because you're not really hypervising anything or you're not really virtualizing anything. So again, all of these links will be in the description section. Uh, as for the vulnerable boxes and the VMs that we're going to be using, they're all going to be coming from uh, Vonhub. And of course, that is also self-explanatory. The reason being is this course is open source, which means everyone should be able to access the materials without any issues. And uh, we've already curated a huge list of uh, Vonhub boxes that are extremely useful or helpful in teaching you various pen testing concepts. And we're going to be using Vonhub. The reason we're not going to be using Hack the Box is because the retired machines, which are the only ones we can demonstrate, uh, actually do require a paid subscription, uh, which not, which mostly or uh, quite a few students are not really comfortable with. So we've opted to use Vonhub and the boxes are just as good. All right, now talking about the playlist that I've set up, you can see that I've actually covered all of these uh, topics or I've actually covered how to install or set up your environment quite in depth. I would recommend uh, actually getting started with the how to set up uh, how to set up a virtual pen duration testing lab first, and then you can take a look at all of the frameworks here. Uh, I've also covered how to install Kali Linux on VMware, uh, you know, from scratch if you want to. So I have the pen test framework, Windows subsystem for Linux, and pen test box, and also Catulin. So you can actually go through that, and uh, you can set up your environment however you want to. However, I recommend uh, as part of this course that you actually set up the virtual uh, your virtual pen testing lab using this video right here the playlist is under uh, right over here so it's under how to set up a penetration testing lab and uh, you have the pen testing bootcamp playlist here which is going to be separate uh, and we'll be adding videos that way so uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video at the moment uh, in the next section we're going to get started with information gathering and reconnaissance so Hope you guys are excited and we'll start releasing the various documented versions of these videos on our website that we're currently pointing up or finishing right now. Um, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, uh, leave them in the comment section or you can hit up uh, us. You can hit us up on our social networks and we'll be happy to answer them. So I'll see you in the next video.